Duncan Robinson here, 26 points tonight, a season high, six threes for you. I mean, when you get going like that, you see the offense start to move, what's going through your head in games like this? Uh, just to be aggressive, uh, and obviously we got some guys out, so just trying to pick up uh, what they bring. Uh, can't do it all, obviously, it's going to be by, uh, by committee, so everyone's just kind of picking up the slack, and uh, we're playing together right now, which is big. Another 20-point game from Bam Adebayo, another monster game from Jimmy Butler tonight. You guys have won seven straight games. What's gotten into this team as you get to seven straight? I mean, it's big when we can have different stretches of the game where those guys carry us. Obviously, Jimmy had that big stretch in the third. Bam's just so solid and consistent. And then the rest of us just try to, you know, pick our spots to be aggressive and keep the offense afloat and, and you know buckle down on defense so we got a good thing going right now you know playing together uh, playing for each other and that's really where it starts just being connected you individually seem to be playing with a lot of joy this season it's not just the way that your game has evolved but you seem to be we see you out here striking poses after threes where's that joy coming from for you uh, just trying to have fun you know uh, you know I feel like a, there's a weight off my shoulders a little bit just to be myself you know have fun play free and just to be aggressive so you know, this team, this coaching staff gives me the green light to do so, which makes it easy on me. Real quick for you, 4-0 and on the last road trip. Now you guys head back out on the road for five straight. What's going through this team's mentality as you head back out on another road trip? Keep building on it. Uh, you know, we, we had a great run on that last road trip. It's an opportunity to keep going. You know, we're not satisfied. We want to keep putting them together. Miami Heat not satisfied. Duncan Robinson not satisfied. Thank you very much, Duncan. 26 points in tonight's win for the Miami Heat inside and outside. No matter how he gets it done, it's Duncan Robinson leading this Heat. The Miami Heat run on Duncan. And the Miami Heat win tonight's game 122-115 before heading out on the road. We'll wrap this one up with Eric Reed and John Crotty right after this. Obviously, Jimmy can you know, at times be the, be that guy. How important was it tonight when it was a little sideways, it seemed, early in the game? And then what does it say about him when he can just turn it on like that in the third quarter? Yeah, I wouldn't even say that it was sideways. It's just two good teams um, competing, and um, they're similar to us. I, I think probably a lot of teams uh, overlook them, but, um, you know, we have respect, great respect uh, for what they're capable of. They, they shoot the ball great. They... Uh, do a lot of similar things in terms of attacking the paint and then their spacing is good uh, They have a lot of switchable guys uh, So you have to be very detailed and, and specific and intentional with what you're doing offensively and um, You know the a great uh, Option for us is getting it in Jimmy's hands and, and getting to proper spacing but doing it early in the clock and, and allowing him to uh, create uh, advantages and um, he was able to to get to the rim, get to his spots, and that then in turn forced some some reactions, and then other guys were able to to play off of that. Uh, and then in, in in other moments, there were some really other uh, some other really good uh, um, possessions, ball movement possessions, fast possessions, um, possessions where we had them on their heels, and and Duncan was a recipient of a lot of those plays. Pretty much since day one, you know, you go up against a switching team, you know you're going to have Jimmy, and, and he's going to be able to find mismatches. But over the last four plus years, have you guys, how have you guys actually gotten better at taking advantage of, of Jimmy against switches? You know, it's not just Jimmy. You have to do it collectively. You have to be intentional uh, on what you're trying to get to, and and getting, um, you know, proper spacing and getting to stuff, you know, um, you know, quicker. Uh, it wasn't just the Jimmy stuff against switches. It was the other switches that I think we were operating a little bit more efficiently uh, against. The last time we played against them, the, the switches really uh, hurt us and kind of flattened us out. Uh, this is be becoming kind of a league-wide thing, uh, you know, the last uh, two or three years. So we've had some painful things that we've had to learn from, and we've just tried to work on it, you know, and and work at it, you know, from the first day of training camp. And it's not perfect yet. Uh, you'll face a lot of different coverages, but switching, I, I think a lot of teams are, are trying to get to that to kind of slow offenses down. Caleb, I know you said he was going to be on a little bit of a minute's limit. He played 12 minutes. Did he go, all go according to plan today? And what yeah. do you feel about, you know, his, his play? Yeah, and I thought he, he fit in great. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't think he tried to let, overdo those 12 minutes. We had a pretty good understanding of what it would look like. He just fits in very seamlessly with how we're how we have been playing, uh, and that's on both ends of the court. Um, he's just such a quick twitch guy uh, that once he gets into a better rhythm, it, it's it's only going to complement whatever lineup that he plays with. Uh, and he comes in with the, the second unit, but he'll he'll play minutes with the the starting group as well. Um, he has a lot of um, a lot of reps with that group. Um, but it's just it's great to have him back, and he, and he feels great, and we're able to check that box, and we'll just keep on going. I know you don't care if you win by one or 100. I get that. But why is this group already so comfortable in games that are decided by one, two, three possessions? You know, I, I don't want to, like, say necessarily that last year's experiences, because last year was last year, uh, but I think because of how last year went, that when we started working on it this year, everybody's attention was <laughs> peaked, uh, and they understand how important it is. Uh, and plus, uh, early on, we had some you know leads that that evaporated pretty quickly. Uh, things are not going going to go perfectly, uh, you know, down the stretch. But uh, we're getting a little bit more organized, uh, more comfortable. Uh, and that allows you to be more confident. Speaking of more comfortable, um, obviously you've adjusted the rotation because of injuries and other things. You seem to be getting to a nice continuity continuity of the second unit, especially Kevin Love going from starting power forward at the start of the season to backup center now. I mean, his minutes, it seems like every minute he played today, actually he got something done along the way. Your thoughts on Kevin <coughs> making that adjustment from a career as a big minute starter? Yeah, uh, Look, he's he's such a highly decorated, experienced uh, veteran champion um, that the reason we went after him, you know, we just felt that in the in the biggest moments, uh, he's a guy that that still can really produce. Um, he helps your best players. Uh, I think the transition that he's made at this stage in his career, most former all-stars um, can't or aren't willing to do it. Uh, and he's he's really a star in that, that kind of role. Um, he's really important for our group because he's the connector of all connectors. Um, he's really a, like our um, emotional leader. You know, Bam is like our, our heartbeat, but uh, K-Love is... Uh, he just connects everybody, and if he takes a charge or he makes a big play, it's like 5x the impact on our team. Um, and it's because he's so pure. He just wants to win at this stage in his career. He just wants to do whatever it takes, however he can help uh, to get our team to win. Uh, and there's a karma to that. If you're pure in your in uh, intentions, uh, and even he at this stage, it's a sacrifice. Uh, but he's he's willing to to sacrifice uh, for the betterment of, of the team, and that's a great example for everybody else. Um, you know, to try to do what we're trying to do. Um, I just I, I love the role that he's carving out right now, and he's he's helping all the other guys really kind of step up and 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 look a lot better. Thanks, all right, thank you. After the Heat's 122-115 win, here with Man of the People. Kevin Love taking pictures with folks after this game. Kevin, a seven game win streak for this team. It's actually the longest win streak for the Miami Heat since January of 2018. What have you seen get into this team during this run as you guys have rattled off seven straight? Uh, just resilience. It's been that next man up mentality. We saw that uh, in the playoffs last year with guys out. Everybody stepped up. Everybody was ready, had that up, up next type of mentality. Obviously, we're missing 26 plus points with Tyler on the bench. Obviously, with Caleb out, meaning so much to our, uh, to our team. It was great to have him back tonight out there on the floor. I know he has to get his legs back underneath him, but again, another guy you insert into the lineup and he's ready to go. So I think that's what it is. If the, it's that collective 
collective spirit, energy, and just all of us being on the same page and together. It's happened since camp. We know we had a slow start being one and four, but hitting seven in a row, coming back home after a long road trip and getting one in front of our fans was great for us. You know, a lot of guys thriving in limited minutes. You're one of them. You come in in your first four minutes of this game, three assists. You draw two charges. What are you doing to prepare both physically and mentally to maximize the minutes that you're playing for this team? Uh, just a little things. You know, I was, uh, you know, upset with my shot not falling uh, in Charlotte, but I was still doing the little things out there, trying to do whatever I could in my minutes to uh, affect the team in a positive way. It was the same thing when I was inserted back in the lineup in Atlanta. Um, you know, felt like I could really make a positive impact on this team, but just stay ready. Uh, that's what everybody's doing on this team. Uh, you know, every single roster spot is coming in, working as hard as they possibly can to stay right for this team, but I think everybody's on the same page. We have that cohesiveness. We have that transparency in everybody's role, and it's a beautiful thing to watch us all go out there and have a collective goal uh, for our team every single night. It's beautiful. You know, it's sort of dealer's choice for me to ask you. I could ask about Duncan's performance, could ask about Bam's. I'm going to ask about Jimmy Butler's uh, because on nights like tonight, it feels like no matter what the defense throws at him, he's unguardable. What yep. can you say about the, the type of performances that you've seen from him while in a Heat uniform? He is unguardable. I mean, he's one of those guys. He's uh, um, I know he's laughing about shooting the ball from, uh, you know, a great clip, a great percentage from the three-point line, but 50%. It's a beautiful thing. So as soon as somebody says he can't do something, he's got to go out there and do it. But again, I think part of the big thing that he does, he scores the basketball in a variety of ways, but plays the other side of the ball. But he gets everybody involved. He's getting to, into the paint. Uh, he's bringing two defenders, and he's spraying that ball to other guys. He's getting Bam involved. When Tyler's in, he's getting him involved. Duncan, uh, he's making sure that he's getting triggers. Just everybody is eating off of, of Jimmy, and he's the one that sets the tone for us night in and night out. And, you know, when he's playing like that, we're very tough to beat. Well, as the vet on this team, I know you've embraced that quasi-UD role here on this specific team. So as one of those leaders, what are you saying to your teammates as you head back out on the road for another five-game road trip right after their previous four? Stay in it. We've had goals on the road for, for this month, um, you know, little micro goals that we set, but... We understand it's a bigger picture than that. We have uh, a couple more cup games um, coming this month as well. Uh, we make sure we want to show out for those, but you know, certainly we're taking it game by game. I know that's something that everybody says, but for us, we have to stay in the moment. We've won seven straight. Why not make it eight? Seven straight. Why not make it eight? Kevin Love, the man of the people, joining us after this one. Jimmy, Jimmy, it seems sort of as it often does with you. you. You tend to take the temperature of both seasons and games and then provide what's needed. We saw some of that today also. Is is that sort of been the approach, get everyone else involved? But if there are moments like at Charlotte where it's going sideways or today where it's a little iffy and then you hit the third quarter, we you just decide it's go time? Uh, yeah. I mean, at this point, whatever it takes to win. Um, but I think we did a good job in the second half of guarding. Uh, I was very, very, very proud of us for that. I don't think we rebounded as well in the fourth quarter, but overall we played some great basketball, um, passing ball to the open guy, made some shots, and uh, it, was, it was fun to play at home for once. Jimmy, you were one for three from three to start the game. You hit your three, you come down the floor and throw up a 50. Uh, I'm just wondering, was, your, was the plan to shoot that, that fifth one? I guess is the plan this year the goal to shoot 50% from three? Or? It is. I missed. I'm sick, too, so that means I got some ground to make up. But these guys, um, they actually believe I'm a 50% three-point shooter, so damn, I love my teammates for that. Uh, you know, take them whenever you're open, which I will do. And um, if that's what translates to, translates to wins, then we got to take them and I got to make them. Jimmy, this team has, has always been able to go to you against long switching teams like Brooklyn. On a night like tonight, when you guys put up an offensive rating over 130, what's going well against the switching, against switches beyond just you being able to find the matchups you want? Uh, I mean, if you can make the shot, then you make that shot. If not, you pass it open guy. And I think Bam does that well. I think I do it decently well. Um, Rook actually does it well as well. Um, K Love. Um, we we really do love it when everybody else scores, not just ourselves. So if somebody's open, they got to get the ball. Jimmy, besides. Bam, it seems like you guys have got it done in so many different ways during the seven-game winning streak. I'm just curious if you see something that's sort of the connective tissue to all seven wins. Uh, we're playing together basketball, and, you know, we're competing on the other end, getting stops and running in transition. Bam, Jimmy talked about how you got, he feels you guys have been guarding better as of late, and it feels like with some of the lineups you, you guys are throwing out there, 
um, you know, when, when the bench players come in. It feels like you guys have a lot more size at every position. Is that part of the reason why you guys have been swarming on defense and just kind of making it hard on opponents with the amount of size you guys are throwing out? Uh, I think it's everybody's just starting to find their, their com comfortable state. And, uh, you know, we're realizing what we're asking from them. Uh, so we're putting them in a position for them to be successful. And, you know, Coach is one of those coaches where if you're going to play hard and give 100% effort, he'll let you go. Uh, so, you know, the guys have been uh, <clears throat> really locked in on that end, getting stops, communicating, and, you know, it's off to the races and they're having fun. You talk. Sorry, Bam. Nice, nice to see you. You talked about how everybody's sort of finding their comfortable state. You've had 18 in every game at least. Is this just the evolution of you, or is there something else to what we're seeing from you? On We know what you do on the other end of the floor. What, what has become better on the offensive end, or is it just something as simple as shots going in? Uh, I mean, obviously, <clears throat> picking my spots where I can be aggressive. Obviously, coaches coach is trusting me to... Uh, put the ball in the basket. So, uh, you know, when you have that ultimate confidence from your coach, the sky's the limit for you. So how did it feel being back? Uh, it felt good. Um, just glad to be able to get out there, get running, moving around. And, you know, the game seems a little quick, a little fast right now. But, uh, you know, I feel like I was picking up pretty quick. And um, I don't know, it was just good to be back out there with the guys for sure. In the season opener, you said you didn't feel like yourself. Did you feel more like yourself today when you returned? Yeah, definitely more like myself today, just in terms of, you know, getting in my shot, getting in the cuts and um, rotations and um, that type of stuff. Some of the other stuff will get picked back up as I keep playing, but for the most part, I felt a lot better than I did the first time I started. When this team's in a groove like this and now you get to come back knowing that so many guys are playing so well, how much does that help you mentally sort of ease back into things? Uh, it's a little bit of both. You know what I mean? You don't want to come in and step on anybody's toes either. You don't want to mess up in your rhythm. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm keeping that in mind. But, um, you know, we got a lot of guys that are so versatile and adjust really well. So I knew it wasn't going to be um, too much uh, for those guys for, to fit me back in. So I was just glad to be able to move around, see a couple shots go in, and, you know, ultimately win the game. You made yourself, uh, made your teammates really comfortable early on because some of your first plays were kicking the threes. And, like, how just did that, I guess, make the comfort very quick for you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a kind of emphasis for me, at least mentally coming in. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, I wasn't trying to force anything. I just wanted to let the game come to me and ultimately, like, just, you know, start right now trying to build that chemistry with those guys in the game. So um, it, it, it flowed really easy, and it just felt natural. So. 